Hi folks, today I'm going to repair two light switches. This is the first one. This is in the master bath. I have a light switch, an exhaust fan, a green dot. I like putting these dots. And a orangey red dot for the heater. As you can see, the heater switch is malfunctioning, breaking. There's only one switch on this circuit that controls the fan. And I have another light switch that has two switches on the circuit. I'll show you what the difference is. First thing we're going to do is turn this on. You hear the fan come on. And then I'm going to go turn the breaker on. Make sure it shuts off and turn that on, off, on and off. Make sure it shuts off. A breaker here labeled Master Bedroom Lights and Plugs. And number two, it didn't shut it off. We have another breaker labeled master outside. There's the other breaker, master bath lights. Get this tool, you can hold and it'll do a power sense test. Not sensing any power. Good deal. Good to remember which hole these went in. They're going in a more oblong shaped hole, not the round hole. I always get that messed up. But save yourself a little time. Okay, pull this out. There are the wires. It's like got a light moving, it's on my head. Do another power test, voltage test. Doesn't detect any power. And there are a lot of people smarter than I am. No matter if that says no power anyway. I'm gonna double check with the voltmeter. Make sure nothing's coming out of there. Nothing coming out backwards. We'll check all the wires. Nothing in any direction. It's residual. Okay. Okay. Let's take it apart. You'll see there's a ground wire here and then two black wires. Power wires. It's going to take those off and replace them. One switch for one device. Okay, the wire's off. Let's get the ground off. It's good to get a nice tight crimp on those wires. They stay below the screw head. Tighten those up in a bit. Good to go. Let's 
put it back in. Make sure these things lay straight or that the cover plate won't go on correctly. You know, wacky. You can also try to line it up with the old paint. time to test it I am going to go cover this up because my breakers on the outside of the house all the way on the other side so I'll go ahead and risk having to take this off if it doesn't work but pretty confident it will work I do not use the drill gun to push it all the way in because you can crack the face plate I get it close and then I tighten it by hand Okay, let's go power on, leave them in the off position and see what we have. Let's turn that back on. Let's go see what happened. Is the bathroom power back on? Let's see if we detect any signal. Definitely getting current. Turn it on. And there it runs. Fingers running. Fan still runs. So, good to go. I usually take the old screws and the fixtures off and put them in my little electrical box. I'm going to throw this away, but it's the old switch. I don't know why, for some reason, almost all the switches in the house are wearing out. They just come apart. I don't know. It just wearing out. Stuff just wears out, or what? But... It's too hard to fix. Cost a couple bucks. Anyway, trash that. I've got these recessed lights controlled by this switch and another switch. So there's two switches in the same circuit. Same way to change it, just there's an extra terminal to connect because it runs from here over to the other switch. Okay, I've got the power off. Do a test. Detected. Come on, Homer. Okay. So they, and then when they install this, they use a little kind of cement plastic screw, I guess, because they stripped that hole out. They're supposed to have these little electrical type screws, and there's also supposed to be a little black backing on here. I'll show you what that is. It holds the screw in from falling out. Okay, let's do a secondary test to make sure there's no power. Okay, there's some residual stuff in there, so it looks like we're empty. All good to go. 
Let's take these off. I don't like that Phillips. I really like that flat head. Notice this side you got a red and a black. So we're going to keep note of that just to make sure we put the new switch in. Which is this guy. We line them up correctly. The ground's going to go on the top. The black's going to go on the bottom. And then red and black. Okay, right up to top here by the ground. Switch again, I just they just break apart. Every time I touch a wire, I'm thinking that I check everything. I don't want to end up dead or in the hospital. I'll do that with my hand. These machine type screws have this little black disc that fits on here. The screws, it kind of just pushes on and it keeps the screw from falling out. So, let me show you. You hold it on there. Nice to have, I hope I remember. Okay, so we try to put the machine screw in here. Remember, this screw came out the as is. I don't know if this machine screw is going to go stay in here or not, but we'll give it a try. And for me, it doesn't matter which one is on or off because we have two switches, so they don't, one day one's off and one day the other one is, depending on what the other position the other switch is in. So well, let's see if we can screw in here. Okay, we're going to switch to the flathead bit. This little DeWalt bit. Let's go slowly. Finish them off with the screwdriver. Check how far we have to go in by how this looks. That looks pretty good. I don't really like it when there's gaps up here. Things can crawl in there. Doesn't look right. Let's 
Okay, let's turn the brake around and see if it works. Here we go. Lights are working. Feels good. My switch again. Let's take a peek in here again. See if we can figure out why these things pop out. schematic end of discussion yeah I mean I got the little Klein multi-tool I'll test for AC and current presence I really like this tool on my box of bits a bottle of bits oh description bottle needle nose Home Depot multi screwdriver parts tag for the remainder and a little multi-speed drill and finally I don't hoard things. I either donate them or give them away or throw them away. But for a period of time, this bag like these parts, somebody's always needing stuff. So I have a little miscellaneous drawer. This is my electrical repair box. Put a bunch of stuff in bulk, but um, it's good enough for a homeowner.